Oh, that looks fun. Oh, boy. Contortionist eye. Okay, so here's, here's another thing. By the way, oh, got to turn on the controllers. Okay, uh, here's another thing. Welcome to the channel, by the way, if you're uh, new to me, if you're stumbling upon this by accident, you've you found the deer show. That's right. This is where we just talk about deer all the time, nonstop, 24-7. Uh, I'm going to need you. Oh, by the way, we also do um, sort of this sort of holistic sort of deer surgery where we actually, you can see it doesn't even hurt the deer, but we can, you know, reach around and feel that everything's okay on the inside. So this is a healthy deer. So uh, please, by all means, say hello. Uh, I know that... I, I know that sometimes Twitch has ads, and you have to sit through the freaking ad, and I always forget about that. So sorry about that. So I guess I should sit here and just wait. I know that hopefully the stream is working. There's no, I don't have Twitch running anywhere, so I don't know until somebody comments. And I'm going to hope that it just works. I guess if I, if I don't see a comment soon, I guess I have to uh, go check a stream or something. I was just being optimistic. Hopeful. But if it's not, if I'm not seeing your comments and you're leaving them, then that's another whole thing because now I might have to restart everything. That would be uh, painful. But as of yet, I still don't see a comment, so I don't know. I guess, you know what, I'm, I just don't want to do this. I don't want to do this clunky thing of going over to the computer, Pulling up Twitch, you know, because my arms are going to be all stretched out like this, and it's going to be crazy. But I don't know what else I can do. So I'm going to walk way out of the camera. No, I'm not going to do that. There, Sarah's here. Thank God I didn't have to do that. Awesome. Thank you, Sarah, for showing up. Did you have to sit through an ad? Is that what took so long? You had to sit through an ad? I don't know how to get rid of those. I know there's got to be a way. Why is the echo back? I went down there specifically to turn it off. Had some issues, tried commenting, but there was Twitch drama. Now, what would Twitch drama be? I'd really love to know that. Anyway, we're just sitting here. I was just waiting for at least a couple more people to come in. Uh, you know, I was not sure this is even working. Uh oh, somebody sewed my mouth shut in real life, but it still works in VR. Isn't that weird? My lips are not moving in real life, but this guy is talking. Sorry. Sat through an ad, but there seemed to be another stream that only lasted 11 seconds. What? I didn't do That's. I don't know. Look, if it just has to be, it sounded like we were going to have others on board. It sounded like they were going to, okay, should I switch now? Lisbeth was asking. And yet, I mean, it's just kind of required. I think it's understood that when you come into these things, you have to, you have to leave it. You have to leave a comment, say hello. I, I don't, there's no other indication. I don't see counts of how many people are watching or uh, any of that. Sarah, can you see if there's any, can you see like a number of viewers or anything like that? Because if not, I'll just, I'll just move along and people can just watch the replay. But this Twitch thing, I don't want it to be confusing. That's not the point. Loretta's here. Awesome. Can't tag people like on Facebook either. I, I don't know. Now we'd have to go to Facebook. Like if there was a cool way for me to share from within here onto Facebook that, hey, I'm streaming live in Twitch, I might put that on the, uh, there's Lisbeth. All right. So now everyone who said they're going to be here seems to be here. So we'll take this huge crowd on a field trip. Are you ready? Is everybody right now? Look, it's not because of the way this works. What I'd love to do is just like go bing, bing, bing into these scenes and be and have everything all set up and ready to go. It's not how it works, unfortunately. I get te I get teleported in, and I don't have a camera. I don't exactly. Oh, sorry, dear. I didn't. I didn't mean to choke. He's very resilient, though. So Loretta got notified. Good. So it seems like it's worth. If you're watching this, ladies and gentlemen, you're just you know like what the heck is this? You may not get your answer on this first broadcast, but it's worth following or subscribing or whatever the nomenclature is here. I don't know here on Twitch. I can't remember. You subscribe, follow, send me a friend request. Let's get together and be whatever. All right, look. Uh, 
oh yeah, I hope Bob gets here too. Because I mean, he is the reason I'm going to be able to show you any of this. All right. So today we're going to be looking at three sets that I've been working on. You know, I've just recently have been learning from Bob how to customize these sets here. This is a set that Bob did. I have no ability to customize this. But what could you change about this set? It's got a deer. It's got dogs. It's got a butterfly that catches on fire. Sarah's favorite thing. But I have been working on uh, specifically uh, the Dodcast set, the uh, Bob Doyle Show slash Dodson set. And now, for whatever reason, I've got into my head that I need to work on Clown Shack, this weird one-off bit that now has got my full attention. Not because of the, uh, I don't know. I just, it, it was that, that, that particular set was a project for me. We're going to start with that one because it is the most underdeveloped right now. It's the earliest in the process. If you're a patron, you know what that means? You know, you go to BobDoyleVR.com. It's probably it's on one of these corners. Become a patron. You see all kinds of behind the scenes. Like a lot of what you're about to see right now, some of you, at least one, uh, has see, watched this happen, watched it happen in the background with, the, with all the scary stuff. We're not going to scare you today. This is all about fun. It's all about, you know, the chemicals, right? That's what we that's the that's what we do here. We just hopefully release chemicals in your brain that you get addicted to. What? What's wrong with that? You know, so that you absolutely have to come back whenever. Problem is, I don't know how long it takes for the addiction to occur. Like how many repeated exposures does it take? Before, you know, it's basically too late and you're on board the Bob Doyle show train and the end. I, I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Shall we, uh, shall we stop this useless rambling and get on with it? All right. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go first to the – now, when I do this, like I said, I never know exactly where I'm going to end up in the – well, I do, but you're, it doesn't matter. Now, sometimes I will be showing you – the UI, uh, the user interface. That's what you, the U, and user stands for, user. Uh, I, interface. You get it? Okay, sorry. We're going to move on to uh, where I said we were going to go. Shouldn't take very much longer. All right, we're here. Oh, you see me over there with my legs all twisted up. I'm all askew. Oh, man, I just remembered I meant to put on my trackers. Oh, well, didn't. I now, for, from here on out, one second, you'll see me better in a second. I'm going to actually pull this chair. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to do this so I can actually sit down in a chair. So give me a second to uh, be kind of goofy. All right, now the comments reset. So you're going to have to send, I guess, another one, like right now. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure what to do with myself with the lack of ability to use these. Are you kidding me? You guys hear that? I'm being Skyped right now. And I know who it is. There's only one person who does it. All right, so here's the thing about this set. It doesn't have some of the cool stuff yet that's, that a uh, couple – they're just not giving up, ladies and gentlemen. So we get to listen to that. Okay. I think it – that's right. It's not over yet. We have to keep listening to it. All right. So this is – that's not what I meant to do. And a couple – I don't even know which camera I'm looking at. Hey, so – no. I've built in a couple, in the next two sets, I built a whole new way to change, sorry, change the uh, cameras. Right now I'm using this thing, which is big and bulky, and I'm not used to it now. I'm used to not. Are you serious? If I don't answer the first time, and I don't answer the second time, this guy's got to know by now, check the live stream. That's right. Sarah knows. Uh-huh. That's right. And that's, that's the kind of fun you can expect on every Bob Doyle show. Constant interruptions from people who should know better. I'm going to have to send him a link to this part of the video. 
Dude, you're on my live stream again. There's a missing poster. What happened to Bob? What? Okay, yes, I'm going to show you all this fun stuff. Now, the, my favorite part about this particular set is all the different things that I could customize in terms of the graphics and stuff. So I had a lot of fun with that. Like, for example, let's see, which camera should I even show this to? Right, this, this is one of my favorites. If I can ugh, stop spazzing out. So this is a, a bottle of, well, whatever you want to call it. But you'll see that it's called Dodson's. I got to call it Dodson, right? So I really enjoyed that part. The other new thing about this, what I took on in this set, is adding sound effects to putting things down and picking them up. Because that was just something that was missing in the other sets, and it just kind of made it a little, it was kind of a little lifeless, you know? So now, like with papers, which of course I customize with, I, mean, I gotta get to know my shots here. It's the over-the-shoulder shot. If you watch the clown video, you've seen all of this. Well, some of it, none of this was actually done. So now this newspaper, for example, has Cody in it. And has a couple of others that you might recognize if I hold this just right. Mm -hmm. The benefits of knowing the people and following them for a really long time and being uh, loyal. This is actually, uh, I even got to get a copy of my own book in here, right? How self-centered is that? As uh, self-centered as you can get. No, it's not. I can get way more self-centered than that. So now I just have all these fun little props that I can move. Now the one thing, this now like I said, this set has a lot of work to do. Like this gun, it's got to fire. In the one that Bob made, the gun fires, I have to learn how to do that. It's just something, just something I have to learn. Hey, Don is here as well. So, uh, so, and then also, if you look at the desk here, I can turn on and off the light. Now, I got a lot of work to do with, with lights in here. It's too, it's just not as cinematic as I want. So, this is, that's a whole new thing I have to learn about. Oh, by the way, I can turn off the reverb here. Now, let me show you what I see. Now, when I turn on the UI, you see all these little buttons up here. Let's go this way. Mostly see them here. These are things that help, help me to control in real time the uh, sound effects and, and disappearance and appearance of other things. You'll see much more complicated use of that in the other sets. But for example, the reverb, I could turn on and then off like that. City sound effects that play in the background and it's just that kind of night, you know what I mean? Can you hear the water? Can you hear the liquid coming out? Because I still need to, whoops, still need to make that louder. But just fun stuff like that. Now let's walk over, and I'm going to have to get the, oh yeah, wait. And this is one of the main reasons I wanted to, uh, to do this set, was to make these balloons that look clearly like balloons. They couldn't be anything else because they're long like a party balloon and they've got the little tie at the end and that's what this is, except that it's, as you can see, it just wreaks havoc. There's something about, there's something I have to, there's something I have to learn. Sorry, thank you for telling me that. I do need to turn those, the, both these musics down, the, both the audios down and I forgot about that before I did this, but that's why we do these things. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah. There's something like these props work just fine, and they don't throw things all over the place, although there seems to be a tilty problem. But uh, some of these, like the balloon and a couple of others in, 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 a couple, in these next two sets, uh, just cause all kinds of problems, and I don't understand why. All right. So that is it, I think, basically. for Okay, a giant sausage. Sure, yes. But it's a balloon. It's a clown shack, right? Look, it says it backwards on the wall there. Clown shack, balloons, balloon animals. You know, they blow them up and they're these big long uh, balloons that look, oh, I don't know, exactly like this until they twist them up. But see, the bit was he didn't know how to twist them up. <laughs> see the bit? You get it? Okay. All right, let's get out of here and go to the next setup, which is, again, one that you're very familiar with, but if you haven't seen the, the uh, behind the scenes, I'll show you. 
And that is, of course, let me choose it to uh, 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 the set for the Dodcast, which is very echoey, and I'm facing the wrong direction. Oh. All right, see, now here's the other thing I started to tell you. I've got the cord back attached because I was having problems with the wireless, and it was... It was just getting too frustrating. Now I've kind of spoiled a surprise here, so I'm not. I'm going to pretend like you don't see that. We're all going to pretend you don't see that. In fact, I'm just going to put it away, and we'll revisit that shortly. Now this is a set that uh, I am actually fairly proud of. Let me turn on uh, the UI so you can see all the stuff that's going on here. So you see lots of buttons that do lots of things. And of course, if you look like this, we've got all sorts of fun infinity going. So these are, these are buttons that will open and close that door over there. Again, you don't see this when I'm normally doing a broadcast, right? Just like, you know, a clean desk, but I see all of this so I can do it. These would start the intro and the outro for the Dodcast. I won't do it because these buttons aren't set up right now to let me stop them. Or we do have to listen to the whole thing. And we've all heard them. Laughter. <laughs> right. Applause. And then another fun thing here. We've got uh, a phone ring. So I can just be, you know, talking along. Whoops. Let me turn off the UI a sec. Whoops. Just talking along. Whoa, I'm... I'm on the chair somehow. Sorry. Talking line, if I want the phone to ring suddenly, I just nonchalantly move my hand down on that box and the phone rings. Then I can pick up the phone, which is a dot, has Dodcast on it, and when I pull the trigger of my controller, it talks. And I can, I'm trying to tell them, please don't interrupt. So if I, I you've interrupted me again, and I can turn off the reverb here too, which I always mean to do. But anyway, just making these props interactive and different things like that. So obviously the it can just go on and on and on with the imagination, whatever, you know, I can think of to do. I thought, you know, I'm realizing, hey, you're probably saying, hey, you're not answering my comments, and the Dotcast comment thing isn't in here for some reason. I thought it was. So let me just jump out of this and I apologize for ignoring you. We're gonna go to the next and final set of the tour here, and then I know for a fact that that one uh does have the Dodcast uh, comments. Let me get over here. It's like a tornado hit this place. Oh, hello. All right. So this is the this is the set for the. Uh, do I need this at all? I don't think so. This is a set for. Well, it's a dual set, which I'll show you here. Hold on. Oh, come on. There. So if you look at the entire set, uh, watch the sign on the wall and watch the desk uh, thing. The, the logo on the desk. I can switch the set from the Bob Doyle Show set to the Dodcast set. Now, the, the sign over there doesn't change because it's actually showing a slideshow, which I just need to set up ahead of time for each show and it'll show what I want it to show. Okay, so it can be whatever set. And when I switch, uh, I'll show you if I, I do need this. I'll show you the UI. Oh, uh, Jane apparently entered the room while I wasn't able to read comments because I now see uh, Loretta saying hi to Jane. All right, now that is problematic, not being able to see on the other side. So sorry about that. That's kind of the, here. Now you can see again what I see. So I've got, again, just like uh, on the other set, I've got my laughs, i got my applause, I've got my cameras, uh, the camera switcher, which I didn't really talk about in the last one, but this allows me to, instead of using this, you know, ginormous thing, just in the, in the course of talking, I can move my hand subtly and change the cameras this way without it having to be, uh, you know, with me reaching out for this whole weird thing. So now I see Jane, Antana, look at them, you better have fun on that. Oh yes, I've had a ton of fun. Let me get rid of this again. And then we got fun things like a rubber ball, right? Now, here's the other thing you'll notice if you were a paying close attention that changed when we did this. Now, of course, with the Bob Doyle set, right, Bob Doyle set, we've got a little chihuahua that barks. 
and I pull the trigger, and now I know how I can add, you know, different animations to him, and so that will be happening. But uh, so there's that. But when we change to the Dodson set, oh, it's off the camera; you can't see it. Uh, instead, I've got this. Now, what sound would this make if you were to, I don't know, scratch his belly? Ah, oh, what do you know? It's purring. I never knew that about scorpions. I thought they were scary and stuff, but apparently... What do you know? Now, two things. I don't even know which to show you first. I have to kind of prepare for one, but... Let's take a look at the set. Whoops, that's I keep forgetting which camera it is. All right, the whole set. At least see over there in the corner with the plant. Well, let's see what I can do here in a short amount of time. The cord is sitting on my chair. No, it's the other way around. And so I can't stand up to sing this song that Dotson is playing. It's all wrapped up. I'm trying to unwind it now, and it is awkward, and it's not going to work. I'm kind of feeling like a live stream jerk, but with Dotson on the piano, everything is swell. I know you think that he'd be scary or even kind of hairy but he's kind of smooth I think it's the warm kind of weather he's like birds and their feathers he drops them on the ground when you're not around he's Mr. Dotson he's playing on the piano cause that's what he does when you're not watching he does when you're not watching he's a heck of a guy why not try his podcast Thank you, Mr. Dotson. All right, let's move over here so I can give myself some freaking applause. Thank you. Get back in the chair. <clears throat> well, that was fun, right? Not again, not something you see every day. Now we've got this dude again. Now here's something I didn't share with you before. Because I couldn't stand not making a surprise. Okay, here we go. Now, first of all, it's I think it's enough. Whoops. He's got the prop problem like the balloons. That I can just carry around a little dots and doll. Right? And if you notice, he's moving around a bit. But that's nothing. Hold on. Dotson, do your thing. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, yeah. Okay, now, he'll deny you ever saw that, but we know, we know you did, right? Now, I know, you're, all of the OMGs are valid. Because as I said, this, I mean, okay, so I can make him do that, I can make him, you know, go through talking motions like he's doing right now. Do the dance. Do I, I, basically, I can make him do whatever I want, whatever I want in doll form. Da 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 da. Right? So now, we get these two, right? This is what we've always, whoops, this is what we've always wanted to be able to do in VR. I think this is pretty much why VR technology was in, invented. So that we could have interactions like the, whoop, oh, no! I wish I could have something where he knew, where if the program knew he was falling with that velocity downwards, he could actually scream. Okay. All right. So there you have it. So now, now what I was going to say, and I'm actually remembering saying this, was I know that you guys have heard me if you've uh, followed my antics. Goodbye. He fell. Uh, I followed my antics. I've been saying, would somebody please send me a ventriloquist dummy? 
Ooh, he fell into the uh, abyss. Let's hold on a second. I think I can do this without screwing too much up. I'm going to uh, see if I can restore this set to its original form as I create it. So I shouldn't lose cameras or anything. I hope. Let's find out. Boom. Yes, reset to original. Let's see what happens. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much all as well. Except dots ended up over here. My microphone's in the wrong place. Just, ah, uh, dude. See, this, ah. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I erased your comments. There's something else that, oh, no, I thought. And I also added, uh, come on. Just a pencil for good measure. Inherit within flip side, no special programming ability, but now I've got this in these sets. So ladies and gentlemen, that's really all I wanted to, oh, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What's wrong with a mic? It's freaking beautiful. It's blue and gold. Not red, gold, and green. Come on, hey, hey. Well, now the ball's rolled across the stage. That's too bad. Well, look, you've seen Dotson play in the piano. You've seen him do the Macarena to music that isn't the Macarena because I don't own the rights to Macarena, so I had to do something that was, uh, you know, appropriate, I guess. But uh, that's it. Are there any questions? Any questions from the, uh, from the studio audience? Let's check them out. That's the studio audience. It's a big black void of nothing, which is how I like it. If all studio audiences could be, oh wait, I forgot to, geez Louise, what am I doing? I totally forgot to show you that we also can bring in guests. Now this particular guest is here to talk about uh, the Bob Doyle VR Patreon page by showing you with her head, what is on that page. I gotta say, this is uh, pretty incredible stuff. You've obviously done your research. It's like you got a photographic memory. You're not missing a thing. Yep, yep, that's what I want people to see, that there is content that you can see and that there's content that you can see, but there's plenty of content that you can see. And if you're a patron, you can actually see more. And ma'am, you've, you've explained it so well. Explained it so well that I don't think we even have time for our third guest, who's that big creepy dude down there. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, let's count. Let's just go ahead and count dots on the piano as our first guest so that it won't sound stupid that I said our third guest when he's actually only the second guest. Okay, can we make that agreement? Awesome. All right, so that's it. I'm real. what, thought he did the dots and strut? Who did the dots and strut? Oh. You're right. Well, that would be great. If I could, if I could actually program its, the movement exactly, I would absolutely have him do the dots and strut. As it is, these are all those animations are things that I can download from other sources that somebody else has recorded. And then you can just drag these animations in and assign them to them depending on what you do. So for example, just I can make the uh, dots and doll appear. Now he's, again, he's flew off somewhere, but whenever I make him appear, I get these. Do you see these? Oh, wait, sorry, sorry. These controls here appear with him, and I can grab them and pull them and move them around. So if once, he's appeared, uh, once he appears, I can just grab the dance thing and be holding it and talking whenever I want him to dance. I just pull the trigger, and he dances until I release the trigger. And so I can put these you know, controls wherever they're convenient for me, and some of them I wouldn't even use, but I would have all kinds of different options. But then that way, they're just super ultra convenient. I know, really horrifying. All right, seriously, I'm going to end this now because I can. What is this showing? There we go. I would like to thank our guest who uh, was thank you kind enough to share about the Patreon page. I hope that you will all consider checking it out because it's just a nice thing to do. And that's it for us, ladies and gentlemen.